hi friends in this video i will attempt repairing this circuit before proceeding towards the video uh, this video is sponsored by one of our best friend asif abbas his channel uh, technology is ease uh, you people must watch subscribe and uh, press on bell icon on his channel so then you will get notifications about his videos he is making good content uh, about technology his link will be available in description uh, so this circuit as you know uh, this circuit is uh, sent to me by one of my friend. Uh, he posted this circuit to me and uh, he sent it to me because uh, he needs a video about uh, this circuit. Uh, he said that I have to make repair and I have to do a video on this one. Uh, so I will make attempt repairing and uh, then uh, shoot a video on this one so then you will people you people will learn about uh, electronics and electronic repairing how we are going to repair circuits uh, here this uh, ic chip you can see uh, so while looking at this ic uh, if you google this uh, number uh, which is written on this one la um, 4227 4227 LA4227 uh, this number if you google it will show you that this is an audio amplifier also other circuit uh, other circuit while I looked at uh, while I looked th at this cable you know this is a coaxial cable and uh, this is having two cables and one uh, ground shield uh, so these uh, two cables are normally red and white they are for audio L and F L and L and R left and right and here also it is written sp spk l spk r it means that speaker l speaker f uh, so of course uh, this circuit is amplifier if a person who is dealing with electronics he knows very well or she knows very well uh, how this is uh, i mean to say what the circuit is and uh, this circuit is made very nicely because uh, you know nicely uh, written and uh, nicely uh, printed everything is good on this circuit uh, cell screen is there uh, so you know uh, this is 3 watt amplifier these such amplifiers are used in computer application i mean computer speakers uh, these two wires somebody had connected with this one i didn't do anything with this one yet so let me uh, do something on this circuit in front of you if you will see over here carefully these two soldering uh, we can see that uh, they have been uh, desoldered or something had been done by someone uh, SPKR and SPKL are mentioned so these are the speaker terminals which had been uh, removed or something had been done mm, so this uh, circuit we will check we will see because these boards while they are shipped are uh, while they are kept with people uh, so loose connections are created here you can see they are a uh, little small uh, tin piece has been placed so this can make a short circuit so that we have to remove it from clean it from uh, the heavier components which are like switches like capacitors big electrolytic capacitors uh, and uh, such components we will wiggle all the components if we will wiggle and let us see if uh, something is wiggling i mean the soldering is not perfect and dry solder joints have been created we will look for those and uh, if we will find any now i am looking at the volume control i am wiggling on the volume control so this this is also perfect the switch is perfect uh, let us see the capacitors all these capacitors uh, some are power supply capacitors some are de decoupling capacitors mm, these wires you know these wires have been introduced uh, by someone so if uh, they had connected reverse in polarity uh, it could uh, damage the ic or uh, other components also but mainly the ic could be damaged mm, but i don't know whether the ic is damaged or it is good or uh, how it is it is perfect or not uh, so we are before uh, attempting the power we will have to see uh, if we are wiggling this capacitor if we will wiggle uh, you know this is wiggling and uh, the legs are loose so what we can do is we are using our flux colophony and uh, then later on we will make uh, soldering with our soldering wire and soldering iron i am going to solder it uh, just basic soldering you know uh, so re reflow is required for the components which are loose uh, now it's perfect 
just uh, see our work if uh, it is still so we will do it again other components we are going to test um, let me test other components uh, I'm almost wiggling all the components uh, so this capacitor is good also this these small capacitors are good this bigger capacitor decoupling two capacitors we will have to check while we are checking these two decoupling capacitors you know this is wiggling uh, if you see carefully uh, uh, on this video you can see that the leg is wiggling the one leg is wiggling the other capacitor also this leg is almost broken from the printed circuit board almost broken so if this is the case that the print is broken very close to the capacitor leg so it will not work i mean the signal will not travel to the capacitor and will not uh, the output will not come to the capacitor and the output will not reach to the speaker so then we will not listen that channel uh, so these problems are still there so that's why this amplifier have been come to me i mean the friend had sent it to me mm, now i will clean the tra traces because uh, these traces you know if we will clean them and then we will solder them perfectly uh, before soldering i attempt some colophony also uh, as flux so the soldering will be perfect i will show you uh, soldering now again we will wiggle them after uh, cooling down so both i checked and almost all are good uh, other things jack also i have to check all are good now what we will do is we will power this circuit up uh, but before powering up uh, we will check these output capacitors you know these uh, 1000 microfarad and 16 volts uh, two capacitors are there these are output coupling capacitors they are very important uh, in the circuit if you don't know about uh, these uh, output capacitors either they are or not then you can check on the data sheet of the ic uh, it will show you that the output capacitors are there uh, we will check the output uh, pin connection to these capacitors because in this jack there are two switches two tiny switches are there inside if this these those switches are bad i mean to say bad contact are there inside uh, so then uh, these capacitors will not be able to make contact to the speakers and uh, we will not be able to listen anything on the speaker even the amplifier will be good but the signal will not reach to the speaker uh, so i am uh, putting my meter on uh, continuity or on uh, ohm range whatever range is available with you so continuity is with me so i am putting this on capacitor and first one i will have to check the speaker output and on the capacitor leg we are listening this beep so this beep means that if we are listening this beep means that the integrity is there now i am going to check on the other one so this other capacitor will give continuity so as you can listen that continuity is there so if continuity means that integrity is there this is okay our circuit is good uh, our amplifier uh, jack switches are good i mean continuity is there so if we will put continuity first we have to check for the plus and minus if uh, whatever color they have put in for the plus i don't know uh, but in this case white is positive and uh, the other one is negative black uh, input also we will supply these three wires we will connect with the input input audio source audio uh, for the audio source what we are using is our mobile phone uh, i will connect this mobile with a mobile phone and on the mobile phone i will uh, play some royalty free music uh, then i will give you uh, audio listening so then if we can listen uh, then it means that we have repaired our amplifier perfectly uh, i connected all the three wires uh, means l r and uh, ground these three inputs i connected for this amplifier now we are going to connect two speakers for uh, output as output devices so two speakers are there four ohms and three watt 
speakers i am going to connect uh, there are no plus and minus for any speaker but uh, they are rate writing plus and minus because if you are having many speakers in your system uh, for one channel so then the plus minus are important you will have to connect all the plus together and all the minus together in parallel operation so then the speaker polarity will be good polarity is important for in such a case but in single speaker there is no polarity importance mm, now i'm going to connect power to this amplifier 12 volt dc power i'm connecting because these uh, amplifiers you know they are normally 12 volt the ic is written as 20 volt up to maximum 20 volt you can provide to this ic but the uh, recommended value is 12 volt so normally they are 12 volt or 9 volt something like that uh, i'm going to connect it with a 12 volt uh, in this jack i connect this amplifier now i'm switching on so while switch on uh, you know we are going to play some reality free music and then i will give you a listening i'm going to increase the volume control for this one I stopped it now as you saw that uh, this was playing very nicely hopefully uh, you learned many things from this repair uh, this configuration and uh, other detail the IC detail uh, IC data sheet I will provide in some other videos you must sub uh, like this video press on uh, subscribe and press on bell icon so then you will get notifications and you will get benefit thank you